What's up, everybody? This is A Foot to Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing Moon in the Third House. So I really wanted to do this video today because it is Gemini season, and we all know that the third house is ruled by Gemini. So first, let's break down what the moon is all about. The moon has to deal with your instincts. It has to deal with how you feel on the most deepest level. Okay, so it has a lot to deal with your thought process and the way that you think. Okay, but more so from a gut instinct. Okay, so now the moon is connected to Cancer. Cancer rules over the fourth house and the natal birth chart. So the moon is about all your emotions. Um, it has to deal with um, the way that you care for somebody, the way that you want someone to care for you, okay, in emotional sense. So the third house, the third house is ruled by Gemini, okay? And the third house has to deal with short distance travels, early childhood learning, early childhood upbringing. It also has to deal with your mind, your intellect, your intelligence, communication. It has to deal with body language. It has to deal with language in general, okay? The third house also has to deal with your siblings, okay? So let's jump into this right now. The moon in the third house is a placement that cultivates a strong ability or desire to articulate what is felt and also a very receptive attitude to intellectual disclosure, and also ideas. Okay, so these people are very much um, positive, witty, and they also have good common sense. Okay, so when it comes to fields that they would be um, actually um, great in, it would be writing because they do have amazing writing abilities along with being family historians. Okay, so these are the type of people that... Um, can find out a lot of information about their lineage, um, what went on and took place in the family dynamic and things like that, getting in touch with family members that are um, lost and things like that. These are these people. Also with writing, they can publish books, okay? Um, they're very good with words. They're very good with writing these things out, planning these things out. Um, they are also very um, much analytical. Okay, so now the negative traits for these people will definitely be that they can be a little nosy. They can also be meddling people. Um, unstable when it comes to their moods at times, these people would actually um, be when it comes to the negative side to them. So they are the intuitive communicators. Okay, so these people um, communicate in a whole different level, okay? Um, they're using their intuition when they are communicating with others. That's powerful. So these women and men operate on a mental level, then an emotional level, okay? So this does not mean that people that have moon in the third house or moon in Gemini, okay? It does not mean that they don't have emotions and things like that. They can choose to move on a mental level more than an emotional level, okay? Sometimes they can swing back and forth. So they are blessed by the universe with the gift to gab. These are some strong communicators. They know how to communicate um, on the highest octave. So these are the types that stay in contact with people that they know, people that they grew up with. So people in the neighborhood, people in their hood. Um, co-workers, family members, acquaintances, okay? They can stay very much connected to these people. These could be the type of people that um, call you every now and then just to say, hey, just to say, hey, how you doing? You know, I was thinking about you. You crossed my mind. These are these type of people. Also, these people can start a conversation with anybody, okay? But now with their conversation, it could be, more of a small talk conversation, a regular, regular conversation, not a deep conversation. However, they can have these deep conversations with people as well. 
Um, but these are the kind of people that if you're in a supermarket, they're probably going to start talking to you, just saying shit to you, you know. Oh, yeah, you know, the meat is high. Can't believe it's this high. Da, 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 da. You know, they'll start doing things like that. Okay, or people may even start talking to them and they'll start talking back to the people that's talking to them. Okay, more engaging. They're engaging. So, moon in the third house makes you an observer rather than being an overly emotional person. These people see the world as a source of information rather than a source of emotion. Okay, so you have a thirst for knowledge and you love to learn. These people are going to be learned um, from everything around them in their environment. Um, situations, difficult situations, they're going to learn from that. Okay, reading books, they're going to learn from that. Seeing things that's going on and taking place, they're going to learn from that. These people are learners and they love knowledge. Okay, these people need and crave intellectual interactions with other people. So their partners are definitely going to have to be people that are very much intelligent people, have something to say with substance. Not the bullshit that people be talking about that nobody even cares about. No, they want to talk about serious topics. Serious issues and things like that. And go back and forth. Exchange ideas with you. This is what these people are about. So their partners are going to be mighty bright. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. So now, changing your opinions is seen by this placement. People can have a major influence over you and your instinctively will follow them without thinking much about it. Okay, so people, other people around them in their world can have a major influence on these people, um, the way that they see things, the way that they view things and things like that. So with this place, if this has a lot to deal with um, adapting and adjusting. These people know how to adapt and adjust. Um, but depending on who these people um, come into contact with, they can show different aspects of their selves. So maybe to Shamika, you're going to show this side of yourself, okay? To David, you're going to show this side of yourself. They're going to show different um, levels, layers to themselves, to other people. And it might not be the same impression that other people see all the time, okay? Keep that in mind. So you want to please people around you. You intuitively know and understand what others want from you even if you're not paying attention to it okay so these people um they can get a uh, inclination okay when they are interacting with people dealing with people they can get a sense that they know exactly what people want from them okay if they're having um a cookout these might be the people that Make sure that they are a good host. Make sure that you did eat. Make sure you have drinks. You know, I'm and say these things to you. Like, did you get a drink? Did you get some food? We got some food in the back. You want me to make you a plate? And things like that. So they're very accommodating in that kind of way. These people need to find balance between being overly emotional and too intellectual. They tend to get better at this as they get older. Okay, so as they reach adulthood, um, the balance between being overly emotional and too overly intellectual, they will learn how to balance this thing out. Um, it can be a little confusing for them at times because they can be one or the other. They can be more intellectual than emotional, and sometimes they can be more emotional than intellectual. Okay, they can ping pong it back and forth when they decide to. So you will want to travel a lot and want a good relationship with your siblings. These are the type of people that um, family means a lot to them, means the world to them. And their siblings, their brothers and sisters mean a lot to them as well. They can also have friends that they consider as their siblings. Okay, this is why they keep those um, connections with people tight. Okay, now, as far as traveling goes, these people can travel. Um, it may be short distance travel. Okay, maybe they do um, a lot of moving around in the community. Maybe they do a lot of moving around in the hood. 
They could also go in and out of people's hoods, okay? In and out of states. They in New York, they in Texas. They in Atlanta, they in Florida. They in Chicago, they in Ohio. You see what I'm saying? Um, a lot of that kind of traveling can be seen with displacement because these people love to explore and learn different things on their journey. Okay, moving along. So these people, okay, when it comes to writing things, they would do very good with writing things out, formulating a plan, okay? Pouring out how they feel onto a piece of paper is very much um, ideal for these people. And it can even, even help them balance out that energy that they so much struggle with between the emotions and the intellect, okay? So moon in the third house has two sides to them. So you can be intellectual and rational and at other times emotional and unpredictable. So it is very much hard for you to um, just think you're going to know what these people are going to do at times because they can switch up real quick. They can do their own thing and you'll be left like, huh, <laughs> confused. So in some situations, you are able to control your emotions and feelings. While in other situations, you let your feelings rule everything about you. So as a result, these people could find it extremely difficult to balance their selves out. They have to find this balance in this lifetime between pouring out the emotions and throwing them all over the place and being too intellectual, being too headstrong. So on the negative side of this, you may at times let your emotions overpower you. Usually when you are excited and amped up about the needs, um, I'm sorry, not about the needs. When you are um, excited and amped up about a new idea or concept. So when these people get a new idea, um, a new point of view and things like that, um, Everything can be a little all over the place for them, a little scattery, okay? That's the best word for this. These people can be scattered all over the place. They're over here, they're over there. Their mind's over here, their mind's over there. They're thinking too fast. That's another thing. Fast thinking mind is um, going on taking place, which can also lead to overthinking, okay? Worrying a lot also can be seen um, with this placement. So you can find it hard to find the balance between your mind and heart. These, hold on. So this is something that you will learn to understand later on in life. Your confusing and changeable moods can become confusing and tough to keep up when it comes to other people. Okay, because you are so alert and so quick, so on point and so intelligent, these are the type of people that might always have a comeback to some shit that you say. Okay? Always have a comeback to what you say. Okay? And it just comes just like lightning. Boop. You know, here we go. All right. So now this could confuse people that know you. It could be a little tough um, on the intellectual level because of the intellectual debate that you guys may be having. These people can adapt to different viewpoints too easily without hearing all the sides of an argument. Since they see the superficiality more and do not prefer to go deep, okay? So these people could come up with a conclusion um, by hearing half of a story, okay? This is a little bit difficult because you have to know both sides of a story in order to determine um, what really went on and took place and what really happened. So these can be the type of people that if they're speaking with maybe their friend and their friend's going through something in their relationships, okay, they can probably um, cling to what their friend is saying and just stand strong on what their friend is saying. Not being worried about what the other person did, what the other person said, and things like that. You see what I'm saying? So it can become a little bit confusing for these people. All right? But I'm going to leave this on this note for now. In future videos to come, I will go more into depth into Moon in the Third House. If anybody needs a chart reading, um, tarot card reading, um, 30 cards of affirmations and advice, please hit me up. 
okay? You can text me on my phone number at 516-738-6042, and I will text you back. Um, I will also um, send you an attached link to the text or the email if you want to email me with the payment method, with the services, and also the pricing, okay? So I appreciate everybody that's been tuning in. Thank you so much. So this has been a force of nature, spiritual awakening. Love is love, peace, and blessings to you all. And I will see you on the next one.